Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is January 13th, 2017. And what I have here for you today are two videos that were put together by Mr. Wayne Steiger. If you've ever watched WSO and Steve Olson, you have seen Wayne on Steve's show quite frequently. Wayne's a very, very intelligent man, and over the past two days, he has compiled some very, very important information based on comets, asteroids, and meteors that have literally flooded our solar system. Now, he has a lot of great information. I wanted to share all of it with our subscribers here on the Nibiru channel because I think the information is very, very important. Now, there will be a lot of links in the description box to the information that Wayne is going to provide you so you can go and check it out yourself. And there will be a direct link for Wayne's YouTube channel. So if you want to subscribe, simply go to his channel, click on the subscribe button, and kick back and take a look at this because this information is very, very eye-opening. This is a special report. Folks, there's something we all need to be aware of. Um, I'm about to show you some data. And by the way, this came from you, the subscribers that uh, have actually turned me on to this. And so I thank you. Folks, it appears that our solar system has entered into what I will call a, I don't know if it's a debris field is the right term. All we do know is this is, and I'm going to show you so you'll actually see the data yourself. There are a lot of near earth objects popping up literally today. Um, you will see what I'm talking about. And when you see all these little arrows, folks, those are comets. They're becoming much more numerous. Uh, this is the latest one I pulled up for you. We're discovering more and more new comets all the time. Our early warning uh, defenses have pretty much um, alerted us to this. By the way, I will give you a link on this one. You need to watch this comment right here uh, amongst many others. And again, you can see these are the ones that we continually know about. Hell, Bop, Haley's. I mean, these are the ones that we have traditionally seen. But it's like the heavens have almost begun to open up and really have just begun to explode. Now look at this. This is the latest data off the JPL's website. I'll leave the link for you. But you can just see, look at this folks. This is just crazy. Now check this out. So here I am right here at uh, the NASA website. This is the near earth prod. This is the one that tracks them. Here's what we've had here recently. AU, remember, is a astronomical unit or basically distance between here and the uh, sun. I always round it off to 100 million miles, and you can do the, uh, the math. But check this out. Look at this. Let's just stop here and look at some of these. Uh, January 13th, 14th, 14th, 15th, 15th, 16th. Now, we can look at these distances and... Folks, some of these are pretty close. <laughs> uh, a lunar distance, LD, 250,000 miles. So you can really begin to kind of do the, the math. But look at this. Here's the one we were talking about earlier. I mean, all of these are, for the most part, very close. I mean, they really are um, surprisingly close. And this just goes up to February 17th. I mean, look at this. 
this is not just me saying, hey, there's something going on, or, you know, a half a dozen subscribers writing me within an hour. Something's up with that. I had mentioned uh, about this 2016 WF9. <sighs> Listen, all I'm doing is reporting to you so you can be informed yourself. There is something really going on. Now, check this out. This is the fireball report. This is what citizens report of seeing meteorites, um, you know, shooting stars, but these... Look at this. And these are all over the world. You can see these events. I'll leave the links below. But they go on for pages. Pages, folks. I mean, this is not just a page. It goes on for pages. Look at the dates. All of them are today. Yesterday, excuse me. This one here is today. So we know that something is definitely afoot here. When you begin to get all of this and the diagrams I was pointing out to you, actually, as you can see for yourself, here they are. I mean, you know, you could take one perspective and say, well, this almost looks like <laughs> shooting fish in a barrel. I don't know. It, it, it just seems a little odd to me that we're seeing such a heavy, heavy saturation, concentration, magnitude. Pick your word. It's obviously that something is going on. I will leave these links because, as I said, I think we may very well, we, we've, we've heard about potentially this cloud, we know. We, we've seen it. We've seen it on SETCHI. We've seen it on SDO. We are in a cloud. I, now, I don't know if it's a debris cloud. I don't know if it's a gas cloud. It's obviously something. The amount of incoming debris is becoming to the point where I think we really have moved into another region of space that uh, uh, very crowded. Again, you can see what I'm talking about. Now, I found this interesting. I went back, and the great thing about when you begin to look at back at some of this data, folks, we seem to have had a little bit of a warning ahead of time. But then again, the trolls came out and said, well, all of this is just nonsense. Well, maybe not. Who knows? Uh, all I'm doing is putting this out for you. Keep yourself safe. Be kind to one another, and I'll leave the links. Thought I'd go ahead and put out a short little video here on some updates from the video I did last night. Looks like we really are in something of a um, debris field. So I'm going to go to a number of different websites. Uh, I have some videos I want to show you real quickly, and I'll leave the links below uh, for you as well. So as all you are aware, this is the alternative site um, to the SEPGE military.nil uh, website, which is a compromised link. Um, enter in at your own risk. This is a great website because it allows us to come in, although it's not what I would call all the way up to date. It lags by about two to three days. But it also has um, some great footage. So let's take a look at this real quick. And you can see what I'm saying. Um, here's our infamous baffle. And as you can see, it's, um, we can do a stop frame. Lots going on here. There are so many Berkland currents in here, I won't even deal. But this is not the best one. Uh, what I'd like to show you is let's go to a we'll let that download there it is i want to draw your attention to the field right here you can actually see there it is there is p45 honda i believe yep 
So let's go through that again real quick so you can see it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop and I'm going to slow this down so you can really get uh, two things. Also, while I'm on the subject, pay close attention to this. We have been hearing about possibly we uh, our whole galaxy, at least our quadrant of the galaxy, has moved into a cloud. I happen to think that this red field, now you can say it is how the camera is seeing the light spectrum, but define when we have one of these huge CMEs coming off of the sun, how we can see a black star field. Hmm. Okay, so we have slowed this down considerably. And you'll see our comet here it comes, right there. At least I think that this is P45 Honda. But you'll see it. I'll put my uh, cursor on there. So appears to be coming close. Uh, this goes up to, I believe, the 10th. And I'll just stop it as it gets near the end. All right, so there you go. Uh, we see our comet coming in on that one and a lot of other strangeness. Here's another uh, view off of Sechi. And clearly you can see it now coming in. Fast little sucker, isn't it? Okay. Hey, I thought I'd play this one real quick as well. Um, so what we know here is what we're seeing is positive negative um, particles. I just want to stop right there. You know, folks, this normally is clear. I, I've tracked this and watched this particularly uh, camera, and there's just a lot, <laughs> there's a lot of junk out there. I mean, it's like we're going into uh, the remnants of a hurricane, and we're just seeing just incredible amounts of objects out here. I mean, this is what this is picking up, and you can just see that, and by the way, I know our physicist is watching um, can you give me a comment on this? This is just really interesting when you do the stop frame on this and you can just see the amount that we can pull together. Watch this. You can see it's almost like it's... Now that could be off of the sun. I don't know. We'll find out. This is a... Um, good website for all of you who are tracking uh, cosmic rays. Uh, this is, I'll leave the link below, but it allows you to see what's coming in by our uh, monitoring satellites, ground, etc. Great, great website to use as a reference. So, since I did the report and posted it last night, they've actually updated this, it looks like. So, again, um, you know where these links are. Monitor these websites. Seriously, we need to. Um, by the way, there's one other thing. I had a subscriber send this to me. Thank you. So, we really got to ask ourselves, what's going on here, folks? This is what I, I'm getting. They're, they're giving us the breadcrumbs, right? <laughs> the, the Hansel and Gretel story. And uh, I'll leave the link for uh, this uh, website, the blog as well. But there it is. Uh, he actually shows you. All right. So coincidence? I don't think so. Something is going on, folks. We need to start watching our back. 
they know something, they are doing something. Uh, I'm going to download this myself, but just to show you, they know something. Maybe us lay people out here, maybe we're just putting the pieces together. There are a lot of other great channels that are doing great work on this as well. Maybe we need to start putting all the uh, ingredients into one bowl and start uh, baking up the bread. All right, folks, keep on your toes. Be kind to one another. I'd like to thank all of our Nibiru watchers. You guys do a fantastic job. We'd also like to thank you for your loyal subscribership. You can continue to email your photographs and your video to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky.